Alebri has a bright and colorful Mexican folk art, mythical creatures. This form of art started by Pedro Linares in 1930. They are hand carved and hand painted in Mexico, mostly in the state of Oaxaca. Most celebrities combine two or more animals. In Pixar's movie Coco, you can see them come to life. Let's create our very own together. Okay, friends, to begin our alebrije, we are going to get a little bit of model magic to make the belly. Um, the belly, I usually recommend just getting plain white because white model magic can be changed into any color by adding some marker. So for example, I have mixed here a clay model magic sphere um, with a little bit of marker and I'm gonna show you how I did that. Add marker generously to the model magic. That means plenty of and start kneading it just like you would with dough to make bread. So you start mixing. Mix, mix, mix. If it's too light, do it again. Do it as many times as you need to until you get the right consistency of the color. Just kind of rolling it back and forth, back and forth. You can also make a marble effect if you like that look better, it's up to you. All right, see how it's getting nice and pink. Uh, for my boys, you can do the same if you want, for example, this dog rhino here, um, he's green. You could add a green marker to your model magic if you wanted it to be green. All right, so now let's squeeze some off for the head. Remember, when you make a clay circle sphere, you make it between the palms of your hands. Never use your fingers because your knuckles will make the clay uneven, all right? So you can go in a circular motion or side to side motion to make a coil. A coil is a long string of clay. Now that I have my head here, I'm going to add it here. Now you make whatever design you want. In Alebrije, like I said earlier, it's a creature made of at least two combined um, animals. So let's say we wanted this to be a bunny porcupine or a dog porcupine. So you would make the ears. I think I'm gonna make this a puppy porcupine, that'll be fun. Now you make your call, all right? I'm gonna make this the tail. Again, I'm rolling it and then coiling it. Ta-da! All right, and then the legs is this, I'm gonna make four equal parts. You can make little tiny claws like you would see on a porcupine or long legs like you would see on a dog, up to you, all right? Model magic is lots of fun because you don't have to worry about air bubbles like the real clay. All right, I think I'm just gonna make them kind of like napping. See, little leg curling forward. Okay, other leg here, and then bend it forward. And then maybe he has long legs. So kind of measure, oh, don't let it touch because then it, it, it attaches quite easily. 
All right, so here we have this. Maybe he's holding on to something. Okay, kind of looks like a little moon or a macaroni. All right, if you want, see, just kind of press a little there for the paw. If you want to, with a regular toothpick, you can kind of press down for the little nails onto the clay on all four feet. All right, and we are ready for the quills. Remember, this in Alebrije is, oh, it's going nice and smooth. Very nice. Now, um, Alebrijes, oh, this one's upside down. Alebrijes have little dots. Most of them have little dots. If you want to go for the little dot look before you put in the quills, I just remember this part. You can make another color. Let's say we want green. Green would be fun. Opposite colors, green and red are opposite colors. And where does pink come from? Red. So red and green work really well together. Blue and orange are opposite colors on the color wheel. They also look really good together. Okay, they're called complementary colors because they complement each other. Like, oh, you look so good today etc all right so i think it's better if you want to go for the little dots look on your alabrije make the color of the little dots attach them where you want them and then put the quills in so i'm just giving you choices there's many ways to make your art. Remember, you are the creator. Ooh, I like puppies with their tails pointing up because that means they're happy. It's like adding little birthmarks, huh? The more dots that you add, the more authentic of an alabrije that it will look. Now, if this was regular clay, we would be painting the dots with maybe a little bit of acrylic paint. Um, onto the already fired clay. But this is a pretty good alternative at home where you don't have a kiln. I don't know, some of you guys may. To create the toothpicks for the quills, add color to them with markers. And voila, he is done. I have put in the little quills. Um, I did do more. I mixed some blue and I did smaller dots and put them on top. Just please guys be careful for the clay, maybe the legs or the tail not to touch each other. If they, it does while it's still wet, it will stick to each other. So in this case, my little front paws are touching. It's fine. He kind of looks like he's just like laying on there. Um, if that happens, just kind of let the clay do its thing and go for it. All right, so now we're ready for the eyes. I have just some clean white here. Um, I think it needs to be just a little bit smaller. Some circles. I'm going to place them here. Press them down evenly. And then I made some blue here. I'm gonna make a smaller blue inside. Right here, here we go. About equal sizes, kind of put them side by side to measure. All right, I'm picking it up with my finger, putting it in the middle. And just to add that pupil, 
the center of the eye if you want. And you can hear my puppy in the background. Ta-da! Um, let's try something for the nose. Just a little bit of Sharpie. You watching? Science experiment. Can we make black clay? But of course, yes. All right, well, it's not pitch black, but it is gray. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like a triangle. Do you see that? All right, let's go again. Make a little sphere. Kind of roll it to make an oval. Kind of squeeze the bottom right here. And that's how you're gonna make your little, it's kind of like a T for the nose. Squish, place it down. Now, if you want it to be black, black, pitch black, then what I suggest is you let it dry and then with your Sharpie later, you can color it in. I'm just gonna do a little bit at the top, not touching the pink, because I don't want my Sharpie to bleed onto the rest of the face, okay? So, my ladies, I know you love eyelashes, so after your clay is dry, with a Sharpie marker, you can do just a little bit of eyelashes or just like a little eyebrow, like, oh, he's looking at something. All right, let's kind of test what I mean here. Just a little bit. It's always better to start with a little, oh, he's surprised. I think he spots something in the distance. All right, guys, I hope you had fun. Enjoy your beautiful alabrije. And see you the next time.